Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class and of course in this class we are going to be looking at isotones and congeners and congeners all right now in the previous class we looked at isotopes and isobars i'm sure by now you have a full knowledge about what they are if you have not seen that video please kindly go back and watch it before seeing this one all right so now let's head back to the class isotones by the way are two or more elements having the same number of neutrons but different number of what protons all right let me get that down isotones are two or more elements having the same number of neutrons right but what different number of protons in other words number of protons is something as what atomic number you should know that by now right so they have different atomic number but they have the same number of neutrons you get and if this is to happen if an element is to have different number of what neutrons and protons it means that what the atomic mass is what is different isn't it now that means that what the, the atomic masses of these elements we are discussing will also be different if the what if two or more elements have what, the same number of neutrons but different number of what protons since there's a dichotomy right also already know that what that the number of what um uh the the, the mass number mass number will also be what be different this means that what and note that that this note that this down it means this means that their atomic masses or mass number or mass number are different right so the mass number will definitely be what be different let's see an example example is what magnesium 24 12 and sodium na 23 11. yeah number of protons is what is 12 yeah number of protons here is 12. number of uh, protons here is what is 11. now number of neutrons number of neutrons in magnesium is what 24 minus 12 which is what 12. Number of neutrons here is what, 23 minus 11, which is what? Which is 12. So if you look very well, their mass number is different, isn't it? So let me just include mass number. Mass number. Mass number here is what? Uh, is, is 24. Mass number here is what? Is 23. So of course, you are seeing that from our definition, isotones are, are two or more elements having the same number of neutrons. If you look at it, the number of neutrons here is 12. The number of neutrons here is, what, is 12. And of course, but the different number of what, protons. The number of protons here is 12, number of protons here is 11. And I also say that this means that their mass number will be what? Will be different. This is 24 and this is 23. So this is a classic example of what? Of isotopes, right? Now, we have another example. Um, let's see uh, a phosphorus. Phosphorus, uh, this is uh, 31, 15. Let's see sulfur, right? This is 32, 16. Of course, Number of protons is what? Yes, is 15. And then here is what? Here is 16. Number of protons are different. Then here, of course, number of neutrons is what? 31 minus 15, which is what? 16. Yes, yeah, 32 minus 16 is what? Is 16. The mass number here is 31, and here is what? Is 32. So, of course, you see very well that what in the phosphorus, phosphorus atom, it has 16 uh, neutrons. In the sulfur atom here, uh, uh, it has what 16 watts neutrons also so you see that what the number of neutrons are the same but their proton number or their uh, atomic number are what they are different so these are what classic examples of isotopes it's a free map for you in jam in case you come across it so do not need to put in twice before you shade your answer so these questions are asked mostly in I've, I've, I've not seen it in JAM before, but I've seen it in post past questions. So uh, remember that this class is preparing for both JAM and post -TME. So if you know this now, you have known it. 
and you, if you, may, you may likely even meet it in jam one day so when you do it when, when you do see it you already know what to do all right let's quickly look at uh, the last part which are what congeners all right so what are congeners congeners are two or more elements congeners are two or more elements belonging to the same group in the periodic table all right so it's very very easy to to know right so congeners are two or more elements belonging to the same group in the world in the periodic table like of course you see group one element you will see the halogens you will see the uh, noble gases and so on and so forth so uh these are what these are what congeners element belonging to the same group in the period example of course is iodine bromine chlorine uh astentine all right, these are all allergens, right? And they belong to the same group in the periodic book. Of course, noble gas is another word. Examples. All right, so these are what congeners are. Congeners in chemistry could also be used to refer to various oxidation states of a given element in a compound. So, yes, we will draw the curtain. Please do not like to like this video. Do not forget to like, of course. Do not forget to what to share. And no, like, do not forget to subscribe to this what, YouTube channel. Please subscribing means that when we release a new video, you'll be the first to what to get in touch with it. So please, my name is Ola Bitangod, and I'll see you in the next class. Thanks for watching.